Hello everybody, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. What's the number one talent that all sovereign citizens have? I would say it is the ability to cherry pick, to take a statement of law or the statement of an individual and only hear, read, and understand the portion of it that they agree with. Today, I'm going to show you a prime example of a newly uploaded video on YouTube of a sovereign citizen who doesn't come off like a sovereign citizen right away, but by the end of the video, oh yes, you'll be sure that he is one. Thank you everybody for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It's a free way to support the show. Also, go ahead, grab my book, order my book. It's listed in the description below at the top, Amazon. 10 bucks, get it today before we watch the video of what I call the smoke and mirrors sovereign citizen. Please raise your cup, your glass in the air. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Hello, hello, hello. You are here with Dave Jose and I'm ready to lay down some smoke on you, some real fire, some real remedy, some real truth. And I'm going to give you the proof, the PCAPs, the way that you know we love to do it. Now, what am I talking about today? I think I'm going to be talking about one of the most important issues and one of the issues that are bothering people across America where they are looking for answers, they are looking for freedom, they are looking for what their rights are. And I'm going to take you guys and break it down to very simple um, basic foundational principles that you can find in the law that's already accepted in law that those who would oppress you and force you to do things don't want you to know exists. Now, time and time again, guys, we work here on bringing you real remedy, real truth, real information that you can stand on showing you where it is, not just saying you have rights or I know my rights or I can stand and you don't get to force me because just because we actually show you. Guys, knowledge and understanding will definitely prosper you. It is a biblical concept. If you want freedom, if you want victory, it is the truth that makes you free. What we have to understand in Luke eleven fifty two 52 of the Bible, we find that God lets us know, Jesus himself, lets us know that uh, he says, woe unto you lawyers, and he tells them that they hide the key of knowledge. They hide the key of knowledge. So you go to attorneys and you try to ask them, what can we do? What can we do in order to be free? And the lawyers want to hold the knowledge to themselves or hold the information to themselves or make sure that you don't have the information so that you can't interfere with the cases that they are doing. They are often in the middle of controversy. And as long as the controversy is not solved, there's money to be made for them. So real people who understand the law and want to stop tyranny and bad actions are going to show you how it is that you can stand up on your rights and block anybody from forcing you to do the things you want to do. Now, many of you guys are worried about not being able to see your elderly relatives, about being quarantined and the government taking you somewhere. You're concerned about passports that you have to show in order to be free and travel around and change your condition or situation. You're worried about people sticking stuff in your arm that we can see might be harming people. Um, there's many cases where people said it has and people have sometimes perished from the face of the earth. So, of course, it's going to bother you guys and you're going to worry about it a little bit. But worry comes from when you don't have faith. When you have faith in God and you have faith in what it is that God has presented to you to give you wisdom, understanding and knowledge to deal with matters, the situation changes because you know that God has all power to handle things and you know that he's given you some control over some of the some of the things in order to be able to stand and protect yourself. So you know that we should be taking action and not afraid to do the work. And at the same time, God is going to be taking action and he definitely loves when we hear his word and we do things. 
So the Bible talks about shedding a light on evil deeds, shedding a light on evil, reproving those evil things um, so that those things would be made manifest. It would come out to the open. And the people who do wickedly, they don't come out into the open or show all the information or have talks about all the information because the light shed on the topic will show that their deeds are evil. So we understand biblically that if we want to fix these things, we must understand what deeds are evil and what deeds are good. And then we must show these things openly and make light of them so that the people know how to stand and what to do. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. We're going to go into the Maxims of Law by Charles Weissman, and we're going to look up a certain idea under the common law, um, which I'm teaching my uh, groups, but I want to be able to give it to you because it is going to bless the nation, open your eyes, and show you where you have power. And you can put this in a notice along with uh, your bills and declarations of rights and really light fire in your states and in the, uh, uh, dealing with the United States Congress and really fix things. So without further ado, let's check this out. Okay, so here we go. 86M, this is dealing with right of the people. Now, let's check this out. No right is held more sacred or is more carefully guarded by the common law, the highest law of the land, guys, than the right of every individual to the possession and control of his own person, free from all restraint or interference of others, unless by clear or unquestionable authority of law. Guys, we are in a republic. So, no man has the power to come take over you unless you are directly injuring or harming him at the time. Or you stole something from him. When it comes to government officials who are dealing with public things, your private health, your own body, how you control your body, how you treat your body with health, what you eat, what you decide not to eat, deciding to work out or not, deciding to go places or not, being restricted and where you go, all these things under the common law is your 100% guaranteed right. Guys, these people do not have the power to come before you and interfere with your right to go where you wanna go, be with who you wanna be with, live the way you want to live, eat the way you want to eat, work out the way you want to work out, go to the church you want to go to or not. Guys, do not fall for the okie doke. These people are trying to deceive you. And here it is in basic English, common words showing you that under the common law, they do not have the authority to interfere with you. So no longer be deceived, guys. No longer be worried. If you want me to go deeper into these topics and show you how to light fire against these bad actors who are attacking your freedoms, we can show you the common law and we can bring that smoke. Let us know if we can help you. This video is yours. So this video was uploaded on October 20th. It's new, it's fresh, it's hot off the press. It's got two over 2,000 viewers. So we know somebody out there is drinking the Kool-Aid. Now this gentleman at the beginning of his speech says that he's going to lay down some smoke. That's true. He's going to lay down some smoke and mirrors. And he's going to dress it in a bi biblical flavor. Now one thing I do agree with him about is he says that knowledge and understanding will prosper you. The truth will set you free. I actually agree with that to a large degree. Gain more knowledge learn more about the world and the history and you will stop believing this sovereign citizen nonsense people want to believe it so bad and that's why they believe it it's not it's not rational it's emotional they think oh it's a good way to defy the government or i can do what i want okay it's not based on logic knowledge will set you free try to be logical um and reach for rationality now you can tell right away he says woe unto lawyers 
lawyers who hide the key of knowledge. And he believes that the lawyers will use the knowledge to profit from people in a controversy, but not help people. But listen, that's the point of a lawyer. The point of the lawyer is to use their knowledge. Yes, you hire a lawyer because a lawyer has studied the law for eight, nine, ten years, and they help you navigate through the system. Ultimately, the client makes the big decisions when it comes to a case. But that's the point of the lawyer to have that knowledge. They're not hiding the knowledge, but it would literally take years or days or hours to explain all the knowledge to you, to train the client to be the individual, that's the, to be the lawyer. That's not possible. You have to put your trust into the lawyer, just like you put your trust into other professionals out there, such as doctors, such as accountants, such as engineers, the people who design your cars, the people who build your roads. You have trust in them to a certain degree. You have to trust the lawyer. That is how business and commerce work. You pay money and you get a service. That's what a lawyer does. Yes, the lawyer is about the money. Yes, that's probably true, but they're also about helping you. And let me tell you, that is not incompatible. It is compatible. A lawyer can help someone and also make money. That's why it works, okay? Now, he gets into the Bible for a little while, and, and that's cool. I'm vibing with it, all right? And then he drops into this maxim, these maxim of laws. Um, and, and it's some book that's written by an individual um, that I'll have to look into, Charles Weissman, Maxims of Law. And he gets into this one maxim, and that's all he covers, and this is where he reveals that he's a sovereign citizen. And it talks about, it says, possession, you know, all rights are more or less inalienable. Possession and control of your own person is a fundamental right. Unless, and this is why I told you they're cherry pickers, they ignore the parts of the, the statement that they don't like. His whole statement that he reads, the last part of the sentence says, unless you have possession and control of your own person under all aspects, unless by clear or unquestionable authority of law. Well, that's what it means when you make homicide illegal, when you make theft illegal, when the government imposes taxes on you. They are making a clear and unquestionable authority of law, a queer, clear and unquestionable expression of law, and that's what allows the government to, yes, infringe on certain property of an individual or even in some circumstances, the body of the individual. Listen, there will always be a, there's always going to be a tug of war between freedom and security. I personally lean towards more freedom, but I'm not about to throw security out the door either, okay? But there's a give and take, a social contract Read John Locke between the government and the governed. It's a social contract. Things aren't always going to go your way. And there has to be a degree of trust between both parties. But hopefully in a democracy, okay, at least the people can have their say to one degree or another. This guy is basically just spitting sovereign citizen nonsense. And uh, he, I'll put the link in the, in, in, in the description, but he has a channel in order to sign up. You have to give your personal information. It wouldn't surprise me if he's selling something in addition to some of the load of nonsense that he just sold to you now. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was hot off the presses, uploaded October 22nd. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. This is the Common Sense Academy. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, consider buying my book. Thank you for joining the Sovereign Citizen Auditor community. All right, everybody, have a great day.